holiday season is upon us, and I'm sure you crafters and artists already have ideas about what gifts you'll be sharing with your loved ones this year. Today I'm going to show you the perfect way to present those gifts using Jacquard's Marbling Kit. The kit comes with nearly everything you'll need and a very thorough set of directions. You'll also need a shallow tray to hold your marbling medium and some marbling tools. I've made my own using a shoebox, tape, and toothpicks. Very simple, very affordable way to make these materials. Um, it also gives you an advantage because you can make the combs the exact size of your marbling tray. Today we are going to be marbling paper to use as gift wrap, some gift boxes, as well as a gift bag, all of which have been pre-treated with alum. So let's get started. Jacquard's YouTube channel has a plethora of tutorial videos on different patterns. This is just a simple stone pattern, requires the use of no tools whatsoever. Simply drip the paints onto the carrageenan, however you would like, and when you are satisfied with the pattern, then print it. After you've printed, then you just gently rinse for about 20 seconds. Um, be careful, make sure your water pressure isn't too hard because it could fade or run. Then hang it to dry. Voila, your first piece of wrapping paper. Go inside again and marble to your heart's content. Next, we're going to do our paper bag. Um, this is just a simple galgette, which means back and forth, using the end of a paintbrush as a stylus. Fold the handle of your paper bag inside and try to make sure that the outer part of the bag is as flat as can be, and then just very gently dip it into your carriage hand. This tray is large enough that we can do both sides in one go. There's a little air bubble here, that's okay. I'm just gonna put my hand inside and push that out and dip it again. The paint will only stick to the dry area. I wanna do the sides too, so I'm gonna clear this tray and um, use the same colors and the same pattern to get the sides of the bag as well so that it looks consistent. Very colorful gift bag. Next we're going to do our tiny boxes, and these are my favorite. This is a very detailed uh, design here because these small boxes, you can see little details. Um, the angular boxes are very easy. Just dip, turn, dip, and go again and again. Make sure not to get any of the inside of the box in. If you're worried, you can use painter's tape. For the larger ones, just be very cautious and take your time. And now we're ready to wrap some presents with our beautiful hand marbled gift wrap. Here's a book, Letters to E.T., which happens to be the perfect size for this paper. Again, these little boxes are just my favorite. I think they're so fun. Um, they can be gifts themselves. If you know any little young children, they love to open and close things. You can also hide some tiny treasures. I really love the way this one came out. It's kind of confusing and beautiful at the same time. Um, the larger ones, it, there is an opportunity for you to get an air bubble, like one here. If that's okay, just personalize your gift. I'll be giving this one to my friend Nina. 
Thus concludes our gift wrapping extravaganza. Go make your own marble paper and have fun.